Whenever I see a Zealous badge on a dial, I'm already expecting great specs, unusual materials, and a reasonable price tag. What I didn't expect is getting the most complete Zealous watch yet with this new Eagle 2. Let me explain. If you weren't born like 15 minutes ago, you'd likely know that I make some bold and crazy claims every now and then. Well, fair warning, bold and crazy claim coming up right now. You see, whenever we talk about pilots' watches, we typically mention IWC and Breitling and then include every other brand in the mix. But do you think it's time to include a third one in Zelos? I certainly would because when I got this Eagle 2, I firmly believe that it has everything that I need in a Flieger watch. The Eagle is one of those rarely seen and talked about collections from this micro brand powerhouse. Mr. Zilos has all four of them, so it must be a big deal. I myself am not familiar with this collection, nor am I terribly interested with pilot swatches in general. After all, most Fliegers come in large case sizes and my small wrist is not built for this constant harassment. This is the first reason why I love this Eagle 2 from Zilos. This 39mm case commits a perfect landing on my preference sheet and comes complete with all of the specs I'll ever need. It comes with 68 hours of power reserve, 1200 vigors of anti-scratch treatment, and 100 meters of water resistance. It still has a 48mm lug distance so it still wears a bit long on smaller wrists like mine. But this new soft Flieger style FKM rubber strap makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. Looking at this strap, I can say that this one is one of the better straps Zilos has ever offered. The brand also did not skip on the details here with a chamfered buckle and the never install without quick release spring bars. It has two signed ring keepers that frankly could have been left bare if the choice was mine. As per usual, I tried this on an Artem sailcloth strap and boy, it really changes the look. It keeps up with the level of quality and it becomes less distracting with the gray on black stitching. It's a good combo but I must admit I do miss the pilot style stitching from the OG strap. So let's mix it up a bit with a different colored band. The light gray sailcloth strap from Artem sort of blends in better with the case color in this setup. This loopless strap also keeps the aesthetics clean as it hides the excess strap between the strap and your wrist. Click on a NATO and it still could work with the Eagle, although the case tends to overpower this one in both form and material. But as a bonus, it does look like NASA approved now in this configuration. Let's toss back that gorgeous strap as we head back to the office to match it up against a Swiss pilot watch favorite, IWC. Most of IWC's aviation style offerings fall over the 42mm case diameter. However, the brand does offer a newer, smaller lineup, the Mark 20. IWC is a lot slimmer at 10mm and nearly doubles the power reserve at 120 hours. Add in the brand cachet and I can understand why this Mark 20 outclasses the Eagle too. The question is, will I be willing to buy this IWC for the price of 6 Eagles? Well, I'm pretty sure I can't at the moment. Alex Dinu also remarks, it's also sort of a Type A versus Type B Flieger dogfight. And he is right. The Eagle uses a Type B configuration with the minute format numerals versus the Mark 20's Type A hours format. IWC for its part adds numerous custom features in its Fliegers such as this clip-on strap mechanism and luxury glass leather. But Zeros is not lagging far behind in the quality department as the refinements on this Eagle 2 is pretty sharp and crisp. Another advantage the Eagle has is that it will look much better a lot longer with its surface hardening treatment. Also, by having it side by side like this, we can observe the kind of luxury you're getting with a Zeros timepiece. With 6 times the price, is this IWC Mark 20 6 times better than a Zeros Eagle 2? Bold claim warning once again, it definitely is not. Want your comments in these videos? All you have to do is, well, comment. Makes sense, right? The Eagle uses a Swiss caliber here that's manufactured by Le Jeu Parade, the G100 Sonnier. It winds gritty like a Miota, and this has a very clear and definite ghost date. 
This might be the biggest knock I have against this watch and I'm sure that some of you will find a way to justify against paying $800 on a watch with a ghost date. But if so, doesn't it mean that it's not a complete watch as you claimed to be in the beginning of this video? Well, to me, it's not. I'm really not missing anything with the phantom crown function. On the strap, there's a keeper holder that secures the keeper to place. This feature is seen more and more on micro brand collections. The ghost date is something that I can tolerate, but these signed keepers are just way too much for me. Now, onto the case. This is a fantastic feature that I love about the Eagle. This is made of multiple components such as the bezel, mid case, lug frame, and case back. While the original had this design, the Eagle 2 executes it nicely, compact, and beautifully. Another feature is the dial that's kinda polarizing. Peter Smithel seems to be skeptical of it as it appears flat compared to the forged carbon texture. For uniqueness sake, no two carbon dials will be alike. This is one of Zillow's signature qualities. On this case, you can really appreciate the watchmaking that's in full display with the honeycomb pattern on the midcase and the gorgeous polished chamfers of the lugs. The spiral knurling of the crown completes this side while it provides a lot of surface to grip. The case back gives the G100 its spotlight and rightfully so because this is a beautiful movement. The strap is also carefully crafted with its titanium buckle, decorated with a sharp and polished edge. The strap itself is nicely textured and that stitching keeps it on the aviation theme. Back to the dial, there is a lot to take in with that gold street carbon pattern. Many may find it initially distracting, but all of the loom indexes stand out both in day and in night. Known for its great loom, Zelos rarely disappoints. The black enhance contributes to this effect as well. Mr. Zanzibar even comments that the dial looks like a sci-fi scene where the world is melting away. A keen observation there. Another thing you can observe is how three-dimensional the numerals are. A lovely touch this side of Moser. From up close, you can see the strips of carbon that's laid on top of the gold surface. This, along with the light play on the dial, just gives an amazing effect for everyone to enjoy. This is just right up my alley. I love it when a watch has a unique and personalized touch to it, then paired with an engineering feat. That was good enough until I flipped the watch to see the movement. Here, they painted a swirling pattern on the rotor to create a turbine effect without cutting out the tungsten plate. Oh, yes, that's a tungsten rotor as well. At $799, it brought a number of features that finally made a Flieger appealing to me. Now I can imagine flying amongst the clouds on my pirated bomber. <laughs> Extreme emphasis on imagine there. What I don't need to imagine is owning a Zelos for land, sea, and now air. Something that I can claim as fact. It finally happened. I finally own a Flieger that's not going to eat my wrist and at the same time, it's got that engineering that appeals to my designer's taste. It's got that very nice and comfortable uh, strap as well. And that dial is simply unique and very appealing to me. I can't believe it. I think this has everything I need on a Flieger watch and now I have a Zelos for the land, sea, and air. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know what your preferences are. There's also a few more variants of this watch. Let me know what you think is the best of the whole collection. I think this is really not the best. If given the choice, I would have gone with a meteorite dial with that inner blue um, divider in um, in the middle of the, the dial. That's the one that I actually like uh, the most. There's also a Cerakoted uh, version which is very strange to me. Comment down below. Let me know. Any of you who own that, let me know what your experience is with that uh, version and let's get this conversation going. A Flieger watch on a 6.25 inch wrist. Hmm. Who knew? And no, I'm not buying an IWC for six times the price.